Hello and welcome to the first edition of MTG Freak. Thanks for joining me today. We'll be unboxing a Gideon Planeswalker deck from the War of the Spark packs. I don't know too much about him. Uh, as a character, he just seems to be a pretty interesting guy. Uh, it says, Whenever you attack with two or more non-Gideon creatures, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of those creatures. Um, and some additional information. Until the end of the turn, Gideon becomes 5-5. Five, five, a 5-5 five, five white soldier creature that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. He can't attack if he was cast this turn. And then uh, negative 9. Exile Gideon, the Oath Sworn, and each creature your opponent controls. So that's that. That's kind of a summary of him. This deck is built around Gideon, so we will go ahead and see. It also includes two booster packs, and I'll probably be opening those in a separate video. It includes a deck box themed to Gideon's likeness, and a 60 card deck playable tabletop or online, and I will certainly be playing that on MTG Arena later. So we'll go ahead, take out the trusty, trusty Leatherman Spark, and let's see if we can't get this bad boy open. So I have seen a lot about Planeswalker decks and you know how useful they are, and personally, I've never played with a pre-con deck like this. However, a pre-con Planeswalker deck. I have played with Precon before, and they really outdid themselves with the packaging on War of the Spark. Look at all that. Alright, let's open it up and see what we get inside. Oh, it looks like it's sealed. I hate that. So we'll go ahead and run a knife under it and try and keep the box in as good a shape as possible. No, it's not always possible it looks like. Go ahead and take that off. And that's how you know it was sealed. You see the two glue dots? Uh, we know it was not tampered with. Of course this was purchased at Walmart, not the local uh, game store. They were closed today being a Sunday. Oh look at that. Protection. I was a little worried, a little concerned that this may have been a warped card. Uh, just because of the way the plastic looked in the store, but I picked out the one that looked the best. Um, I also picked up a couple more uh, Ultra Pro deck sleep protectors for this deck. Uh, I like blue. My other decks are red and black uh, sleeve. Um, these are really cheap. I think they're under $3 for 50 pack, so they're cheaper than the design ones you get online. And they seem to work all right for just standard gameplay. Um, they certainly fit MTG cards very well. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Looks like a nice mint out of the box. Gideon Oath Sworn. Let's look for bending and there is a little bit of a warp on there. Maybe? Am I hallucinating? Nope, it looks like there is a little bit of a bend. Uh, maybe that'll straighten out if it's in a deck. A bit of a bend. But look at that artwork. Is that not beautiful? And that foiling. Man, I tell you what, the artists this time around are outdoing themselves. Alrighty. Now that's beautiful. We'll go ahead and set that right there. He can be in view. Here is the... Ah, the deck holder. Deck box. And that is unfortunate. Um, I thought this was going to be an uh, actual plastic deck box. Um, while the artwork is good on it, um, and it is made out of a high quality material, that material is in fact cardboard. So I was hoping for a little bit more substantial box. Um, I actually just picked up this box just in case. Uh, this is a Ultra Pro Eclipse box. I think it was also probably around under $4. Uh, and this is a nice sturdy Ur box, I think. Uh, it feels like plastic to me, uh, which is what I'm looking for in a, at least, you know, as a bare minimum for a deck box. Uh, I think cardboard's a little bit too prone to warping and damage, and if it gets wet, it bubbles up. 
and that's not what I'm looking for in a deck box. So another shill for Ultra Pro there. No, I am not sponsored. All right. So it says Gideon on the side. It's got that nice new magic text, that beautiful back. We'll go ahead and open it up. Try not to damage the box here. All right, let's see what we got first off. Ah, don't look. Here is the Planeswalker deck on top. We'll set that aside for just a moment. And it looks like we got two regular standard War of the Spark booster packs. And I will be, in fact, opening those in a separate video. Uh, I have a complete obsession with booster packs. They are like crack to me. I, I just, I can't get enough of them. Don't look at the codes. I'm just kidding. I don't think there's any codes for that. Uh, there is supposedly a way to play this deck online, and I'm gonna take a little look at this before I show you anything. Hopefully the code's not on here. I uh, don't see it. Looks like there is a nice insert here. Hey, before you play, this 60 card deck is ready for battle, so don't start adding new cards just yet. Play a few games to understand how your deck works, then open the included booster packs. Playing the deck, Gideon is a born leader who inspires his allies to fight and win against seemingly impossible odds. Keep your opponent at bay while you fill the board with creatures, weakening your opponent's forces with Kea's expert assistance. When you've gathered enough troops to dominate the battlefield, unleash a massive game-winning attack. And then just some terms to know, basic stuff. I'm not sure why that's included, I guess, for new players. Although, hopefully a new player is buying something like a rookie deck or, uh, you know, going to an open event. Uh, Gideon. Gideon Jura is renowned across many worlds for his courage and altruism. He has fearlessly faced down everything from interdimensional monstrosities to gods, lowercase of course, and he would gladly lay down his life to protect his friends. As the ultimate conflict with Nicol Bolas approaches, he must make difficult choices about what it truly means to be a hero. And that seems to be Gideon. There's just some additional information about what are Planeswalkers. That's a good question. What are Planeswalkers? I'm not getting into that. Uh, here is Play This Deck and More at MTG Arena. Uh, if a code did show up in this video somewhere, trust me, it's already been used. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and close this up. And we are going to work our way through the deck and see what's included. I uh, did not... Well, look at that foiling. Man, I love that. Uh, I did not look up uh, the deck's contents beforehand. I just thought it'd be neat to kind of, you know, see what's in it before, you know, kind of learn along with you guys what's in it, kind of discover. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. New deck smell. Go ahead and peel this stuff away. And peel it away. Get some of that dust off. All right, let's see if there's any codes in here. Uh, on the back, uh, just some standard cards, it looks like. Popular, magic format, standard, booster draft, commander. Um, and, oh, there's the code. Oh, yeah, it's probably already used. On your turn, you know, the phases and all that, discover more. Yeah, I just bought some. I'm not going to buy more right now. How to cast spells, thank you very much. Ah. And the infamous MTG back with that lovely marked up ballpoint pin deck master card. So beautiful. Now, if I could hold on to them, we'd be in business, wouldn't we? Probably just messed up that back order. Now, we'll start off and see what we got here. Starting with Command the Dread Horde. Oath of Kea. Hey, there's our backup. Gideon. Oh, let's take actually another look at that. Uh, it's a rare. It's got some decent art on it. It looks like uh, not 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 too great. Um, oh, they are. Are they all rares? One, two. Uh, Gideon's battle cry. Another rare. Gideon's battle cry. Kea, bane of the dead. Ah, the planeswalker form of Kea. Nice backup. Ah, Johnny's primates. One, two, and three. Ah. Okay, so we're off of the rares. We're on the commons now. 
Charmed Stray. Creature Cat, Lifelink. Beautiful. I love Lifelink. That's my favorite, favorite card. Type. Another one. Enforcer Griffin. Creature Griffin. Flying ability. Always useful. Makeshift Battalion. Human Soldier. Adds a 1-1. One, one. Whenever, uh, what does it say? Two creatures attack. I should know that. Trusted Pegasus. Creature. Flying. Beautiful. I think this said something about... Uh, there's a war creature soaring over your opponent. So there's going to be a lot of uh, themed, uh, flying themed cards in here, as uh, there are a lot in any plane. Uh, actually, uh, looks like some swamp cards here. Creature Vampire. Oh, wow, that's a pretty heavy casting cost on that special ability. Cruel Celebrant. Vampire. Vampire. And another one. Gideon's Company. Human Soldier. Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one, one counter. Two 1-1 one, one counters on Gideon's Company. Beautiful. Combine that with Lifelink, and you have a real combo going, it looks like. Um, Ors Hov Guildgate. Uh, let's see, it's a land gate. Turn to add a plane or a swamp, it looks like. Another one, another one, and a, another one. Uh, looks like some... Looks like the rest are just land cards, and they did not give us the same land cards, so it looks like a bunch of different designs. I'll have to swap those out. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Ah. Alright, it looks like there's some additional cards in the back. Cast spell cards. Bond of Discipline. Sorcery. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink. Awesome. Ove Nix's Cruelty. Ove Nix's Cruelty. Ove Nix's Cruelty. Desperate Lunge. Desperate Lunge. Desperate Lunge. And finishing off with a Desperate Lunge. So, overall, it looks like a pretty interesting deck. You can tell that it was crafted specifically to work around Gideon. Uh, it looks like you could get some serious health benefits. Uh, with this deck. In fact, if you have a nice combo going, I would find it hard to defeat this Planes Walkers controller. This has been MTG Freak with our first video. I'd like to thank you all for watching and be sure to look out for more content as the days roll by.